Hi and welcome, I have a great news for all tea lovers in Amsterdam. Approximately one month ago, my friend opened the first tea culture club in Amsterdam. And guess what? Today they have a first event, matcha tea event. And it means that everyone who loves matcha can join their place today and try the matcha for free, absolutely free. And guess what? We're also invited and we're also going to go and try matcha. Namaste. Yeah. And feel some really nice content there. Let's go. So we're here at the Moichai Tea Club in Amsterdam. Look at this place. So this is amazing place, full of teaware, full of teapots, and the main thing is here, of course, the tea. And here is the team of this beautiful company. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> this is Ella. Masha. Follower. This is the Dima. The Dima. The Dima the is what? the owner of this, actually, he's a co-founder of this company. Hello. Yes, and Dima, I have a question, couple of questions for you. I am packing tea. Dima, tea or coffee? Well, mm, very hard question, but uh, of course tea, man. Dima, uh, your favorite tea? That's something you never should ask a tea person, but I have one. So basically, I think the Taiwanese are all great because it's just so mind-blowing, you know, it really the first time you drink a oh, sorry, uh, you, it just kind of blows your mind. So what is the most expensive teapot you got? So it's funny you ask that because you're actually just standing right behind it. Um, you would maybe think it's this one, right? But no, it's the one directly behind it. So look at this wonderful, incredible piece of work. You think, hmm, this is probably metal, but no. It's actually not. So, this is a teapot that costs 1,300 euro. You may ask, why? Well, the reason is, basically, people who make teapots are celebrities, also in China and Taiwan, right? And this guy comes from Taiwan, and he wanted to represent nature mixing with, uh, basically, uh, technic uh, technical stuff, industry stuff, right? In his hometown. And uh, he made that by using this beautiful representation. So this is actually all clay, none of it is uh, metal or wood, you know? Do you like it? Would you buy it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So tell me, why Moi Chai NL is the best club in Amsterdam? Well, you know, it's actually not the best club in Amsterdam, but it's actually the only club in the whole of Netherlands, you know? So it's quite easy to become the best one. But in my opinion, it's because we have basically anything you could ask for when you want to get quality tea, right? So we have a tea bar, we have teaware from all over the world, we have a great wall of tea with an ever-expanding uh, tea storage, and also super cool tea culture rooms, you know, with ceremonies. So in my opinion, that's why we are actually the best tea club. So right now, let's go and check those beautiful tea rooms. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's great that you already took off your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm glad you got that in camera. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so check this out. We have uh, three rooms here, right? Oh, my feet feel hurt. But anyway, that's a sacrifice you gotta make. And actually, you know, for tall Dutch people, this is always a problem. But there's reason behind it. So, like, um, the ceilings of tea rooms are always low because you need to bow like this before you enter a tea space, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just checking the lights are works. And that's to remove your ego, you know? So sometimes I just kind of go through here a couple of times and get my ego. <laughs> yeah, and we here have uh, multiple nationalities basically. So that's one is China, this one is Taiwan, and this one is Japan. So very relaxing and you can really calm down here, you know. <laughs> Just leave me. <laughs> Just leave me. Okay, I'm in my state. Okay, bro. <laughs> enjoy, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, Zima, and final question is, when we're gonna start to make matcha? Russell, right about now. Let's, Let's go. do this. <laughs> <laughs> For this special occasion, we're gonna use matcha uji. And that's a special uh, 
ceremonial grade matcha actually, right? So check this out. It's a very nice. Whoa! Oh, just like the that. Magic. Yes. <laughs> the magic matcha. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually pretty magic matcha because it has magical effects, you know? Because this um, leaf is so high grade because it's been shaded off from the sun and it starts drawing nutrients from the ground, it has much more amino acids and antioxidants than any tea we have, right? And this, um, like, for example, is very good for weight loss, right? And different stuff. Uh, related to the health of your body, like good circulation, for example, and also disease prevention, right? Wait a second, so you're saying if I'm gonna drink matcha, then I can just lose my <laughs> my extra <laughs> weight, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my extra pounds? <laughs> Essentially, you could see it like that, yeah. Of course, you need to exercise and do complementary stuff, but matcha can contribute to weight loss. It's been researched. So, actually, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna film really nice B-roll. And if you really want to check out how actually Dima is preparing and making matcha, you can check it on Dima's YouTube channel on the yes. Moi Chai NL. Actually, they have incredible content about the teas, about the matcha, and overall about the tea cultural stuff. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and uh, definitely uh, about the way you can prepare tea, right? And just about the tea culture vibe, you know? It's very broad. So check us out also on Instagram and stuff like that. I'll be sure you'll be able to find us. And with that being said, let's start to do the matcha B-roll. You ready? Yes. Now you need to close the gap. The moment of truth, which is feels really nice. Actually, you made really good matcha. Yeah, yeah, man, that's, like that's, re that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. 